Alright, let me give you a quick shot of where I'm at. There's my trusty guard dog there, Lexus. Always wanted to play Frisbee, but uh, yeah, I'm here at a place called Government Wash uh, Lake Mead National Recreation Area um, in Nevada. Been here for probably about, uh, oh geez, I'd say about 12 days. Stayed a little longer than I planned on. It was a little too cold to go up uh, north towards Flagstaff the Grand Canyon. I'm going to be leaving there in two days, here in two days for there. It's warming up a bit. I didn't want to be in sub-zero weather, but here I am. Uh, <clears throat> outside, you can see the view I have here. That's why I stayed I'm riding out back here on the dirt bike. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, this is the outside where I'm camped. Beautiful scenery. There are a few other campers out here. If you look around, um, yeah, they're scattered about. This is a free camping area. And some people look like they've been here a while. So, in any case, it's uh, pretty safe. Um, you know, I feel uh, like I could leave the camper and come back and stuff. I've only done that once to go into town to get some food. But here's a look. And uh, yeah, the uh, Chinese diesel heater, you can see the exhaust down here. I got a video on that, I'll put it in the description. Uh, you can uh, go to that. Also, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, this camper, if you're curious about any of it, I'm not going to go into detail on, on anything at this point here. Um, but I do have a lot of detailed videos on this build, so if you're interested in this build, it's your first, first time seeing this. Um, anyway, this is the outside. I'm going to obviously take you inside, kind of show you what that's all about um, and how I've been using it. So this is more of an in-use review. Uh, you can see the diesel tank and uh, you can see the level on that thing. Down there towards the bottom, yeah, very, very low. Yeah, this is the second time I've had to fill it um, in two weeks. Uh, so that Chinese diesel heater's been working great. Very happy with it. But uh, yeah, this is my spot, kind of jacked up here. Um, like I said, been here for a little over 12 days. Um, the water's been lasting just fine. Um, and uh, yeah, beautiful out here. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on this too much, but uh, this is where I'm at. Uh, about 2,200 miles from home. I'm headed up towards the Grand Canyon and then ultimately Nebraska to my son's place in a, in a couple days. Um, and then I'll be going home. But uh, yeah, this thing's been working out really well. I've been living it for almost a, a month now on the road and very happy with it. Now on the road and very happy with it. All right, so, all right, so uh, we're up inside here. I'm just going to give you a quick review. I've been, uh, as I said before, camping. Uh, I spent about a month. I've been out on the road in this thing and uh, yeah, so i um, tell you what I like and I don't, uh, I don't like. Um, not really too much I don't like, and the reality of that is I've built this thing specifically for what I'm doing. But in any case, uh, yeah, the thing I like most about the kitchen here, though, is I find that this extra kind of, this extra kind of space is uh, golden when uh, you're prepping food uh, and you're using the stove because the stove takes up a good part of the counter here. Um, I don't find myself taking the stove off too much. Um, in reality, I use it every morning for coffee. I've been cooking in the kitchen. Um, as you can see, I've been living in here, so it's kind of dirty um, on the dusty desert. But I got my dirty dishes down there. I'll wash them up later. Uh, yeah, and the sun's shining good outside. On the bathroom, um, you know, I uh, use the shower um, on a regular basis. Uh, it works great. I also use it uh, for the dog's food and water. And uh, you can see where her dirty paws get in there. Uh, and I, you know, I got some drinking water I got down in there. But uh, I find the toilet's working great. I'm using the toilet just for pee at night and etc. Um, I don't use it for number two. I actually put a bag in there. I've got these, uh, I'll show you here, I've got these bags that go down in there. Uh, they roll out, they go in there, and then I double bag them and, and I throw them in the trash. Um, and that works great because I have no black water to deal with and that'll last a week or so and I can dump that in any toilet. So it works great for this type of boondocking. Hot water heater's working great. Uh, so, so the bathroom's working out quite well. Um, I'm pretty happy with how that's working out and, and the kitchen itself. You know, I find I got plenty of on the bottom cabinet down here. I've showed you before. I mean, I've got a ton of storage under there, and it goes back pretty far in the corner. I've got the three-gallon water drinking bottle uh, back here in the back um, that, that pumps up, as you can see. And, you know, and that's just that's just for uh, drinking coffee and etc. I don't use it for anything else. I've got the obviously the, uh, the regular sink here with the uh, you know, hot water heater come on there, but you know I've got all the water there I need. Comes out of tank. So yeah, the kitchen is quite functional. Uh, you're not gonna cook a four course meal in here. I find myself cooking one part at a time. Microwave works great. Been used it pretty much for warming up leftovers and, and popcorn and things like that. Uh, but I do use it. 
And when it's not being used, the cool thing about it is it makes a great bread box. Uh, I do have to pull all that out of there when I'm going to use it, but um, so it doubles as a, uh, a bread box. Got all my pots and pans up top here. Um, uh, they just kind of set up in there, and uh, all my other little incidentals along the uh, rack in the back. This little electrical outlet comes in pretty handy back here. It runs my uh, coffee grinder. I do like grinding my coffee fresh in the morning. So I got my electric toothbrush charging. Um, and I got a few little things to charge up on the USBs. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so all that's working out very well. So let me swing around here. I haven't used that at all, um, but it's there in case I ever need it. Uh, you see all the switches there. Hello, trays. So all these, uh, the open shelves, I really like them. They're very versatile. Um, they allow me to put a lot of crap up here. I'm using this for a lot of the dry goods up here for food, other miscellaneous stuff back here. Um, that's what I use it for. And this one here is pretty much just clothes. Um, you know, shirts, t-shirts, underwear, pants, shirts that hang right there. So I keep all my clothes over here. Got a few little dog things in here. Um, Bed's working out great. I've got the two-inch memory foam on it right now. Oh, the sun's coming in here. Can't see it real well. I've got a little bit of a two-inch memory foam that sits on there. I've got a blanket that I use on there for a cover. I've got a black cover underneath, but uh, bed's working great. The little bed extension I built in the back here um, that's on this thing that's over top the heater uh, works great. When it comes out, my feet got a place to go, so it's all working out well. I find I've been using this a lot. I, I, I haven't used my hand radio too much, but I use this for a computer desk. Uh, I got my bag sitting on the chair, but um, let me set this over here. Yeah, I pull this out and uh, got room to work here. I actually eat here because I'm not finding myself using that table too much. It's it's kind of takes up a lot of room here. It's hard to get around it when the dog's laying on the floor. I'm getting rid of that. That's the one thing I don't like. I have ordered a little table that's got an arm that'll swing out and go up under here and pull out over here. I'll show you that in another video, but uh, I, that's the one thing I don't like. So I'm going to be stuck with this hole on the floor. Well, not really a hole, but the mount. It'll just be empty. But I am taking that out. I don't use it much. Um, I do use these racks here. I need my trash bag hanging on there. I use this, as you can see, quite a bit. I've got all my stuff on here. Let me close these curtains. It's kind of bright out here. Let me close these curtains. It's kind of bright out here. But yeah, I just use it for setting stuff, you know? And uh, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I use this uh, coat rack in the back, hang my coat up. I really love this portal window I put in. Um, yeah, it's, it just works out great. It puts extra light here when I'm sitting there. I can see out. A little Chinese heater down here that uh, I made a video of. You can go back and see that. That thing is outstanding. I've been using it for uh, a couple weeks now and uh, I use it every night. It's been in the 30s at night and it keeps this place 68 degrees and uses very little fuel. So yeah, this is kind of it, the dog's, dog's mat there. Um, yeah, so it's been working out great. I've um, been using the 40 gallon tank in the back of my truck to fill this tank up, it's about 15 gallons. And uh, I can stay out here, I've been out here for almost two weeks now. Um, I went into town to get a little bit of food at one point and uh, that's it. So you can kind of see. So this is the inside, this is actually in use um, now with all my junk. And uh, the bike is out obviously. Now when it's in here, um, you know, I got a little less room, obviously, on the floor. All right, so that's the inside. Hey, I did want to add and uh, uh, add a little update here with the uh, the power usage. I didn't mention that in the uh, when I was talking about the inside here. You can see my uh, thing is you can see my uh, thing is flashing there. That means it's charging, but and it's at ninety percent. I've been use power all night long with lights and they're on the fan on the heater, you know, and all those kind of things. Do you want to point out, I got 510 amp hours of batteries. I, I think that's uh, probably overkill if you live out here in the west where you've got all this sunshine and these things charged up to 100% every night. You know, I'm not running an air conditioner with it, but I am running everything else, literally. The refrigerator uh, runs 24-7, um, you know, I'm using the radio, all the lights, the fan that runs on the heater, all those things. It charges back up to 100% at night. And I'm only going down, I think the lowest I've been is 86%. So I've got, you know, a lot more lithium batteries than I would need if I, if I was to be out west on a regular basis. Now on the East Coast, uh, that 510 amp hours comes in pretty handy when I'm running the air conditioner on a truck stop if I'm staying overnight. I can run it all night long on that and then charge it during the day. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the power is working out great. Uh, you know, I've got the uh, 410 watts up top there. Um, I don't know if you can see that display. See, yeah, oops, okay. 
yeah, so the monitoring there. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, it's working out great. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, I wouldn't waste your money on 5 or 10 amp hours out west uh, on the east coast where you're in the shade sometimes and you're running air conditioners and things like that. Uh, it will come in handy. But I've got no with me and <laughs> things are literally in the back collecting dust. So uh, anyway, um, so I'll throw that in there. 410 watts with 510 amp hours. Uh, I think the 410 watts, or I think it's 420 watts up on the roof is probably good in terms of the amount of solar panels. Uh, it does recover these batteries uh, uh, most days by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is winter with the sun low in the sky. I'm only harvesting about 50% uh, because the panels are flat and there's an angle on it. So, But I imagine in the summer it would do even better. Um, but uh, in the wintertime, I'm, I'm getting about 50% uh, efficiency on the panels. Um, you know, when the sun's up in the afternoon, I'm getting about 200-some uh, watts in. Uh, anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there, um, and uh, yeah, so plenty of power. <laughs>